Well, good day there. If you've just joined us, you have tuned in to the Burmac Western Premier League, and this is finals. So this is the second game here today in Orange at Jack Brabham Park of the Western Premier League finals season for 2023. And today we have Barnsonworth United Football Club facing Panorama FC. So they finished third, actually, sorry, second and third in the table. Um, Dan Rumbold is my name, and I'm here with Luke Bingham. How are you going? Luke? Afternoon, lovely e uh, afternoon in Jack Brabham Park here in Orange. Uh, balmy seven degrees, if you're lucky. <laughs> yep. Perfect I... conditions for soccer. <laughs> that's, that's definitely it. The Orange has turned on perfect orange weather for the Western Premier League finals. Um, just as we kick off, just wanted to acknowledge the custodians of the land on which the game today is going to be played, um, the traditional owners. Um, so we're here on Wiradjuri country in sunny, sort of, orange, um, in the central west of New South Wales, and this is Wiradjuri country, so I want to acknowledge elders past and present. Um, so, interesting game today. Very. Yep, so we've got um, the teams that finished third and second. Um, so Panorama finished second, Orange finished third. We'll come to the teams in a moment. Um, but before we dive into the detail, what are your thoughts, Luke, for today? What are you predicting? Oh, well, it's going to go down to the wire. I think it'll be extra time. Someone will just nick it at the end. These Both these teams love playing a direct sort of style of football. Um, yeah, you come to Orange, you come to this field and, yeah, you look, oh, it's not real long. People want to pump the long direct ball. Like, we've got a crosswind sort of coming across the field. It's sort of not really, probably favouring the southern end running north. But, um, yeah, you've just got to learn, when you come here, you've got to knock it wide and use all the space of this field. Yeah, it is, a, it is something we often comment on here at Jack Brabham Park. It is quite a short field. Um, and you'll often find that teams that rely an awful lot on playing through their midfield can sometimes discover that the, the midfield's not touching the ball because it just goes from back to front so quickly at this ground. Yeah, so, well, Barnes Samworth have been pretty good at home all year. They've, yeah, they've never really looked like losing a game. They, their last game, they'll be a bit disappointed. They let a few in at the end for a draw. It felt like a loss to them. But... Um, yeah, this 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 will be a cracker game. Bathurst won't come up here light-hearted. They'll be full-blown. They'll come out of the blocks 100 mile an hour and really want to give it to the Barney boys. So, yeah, we should be set for a firecracker in the first five, ten minutes of this, hopefully. Yeah, absolutely. So do you want to just talk briefly about the format um, for the finals um, and maybe just comment briefly on last night's game as well. So the, the first game last night was played between, well, in, in Dubbo, um, between Macquarie and Arana. Um, and Macquarie made it through, um, so they will await the loser of this game today, next week, um, but the winner of this game will go through to play... Um, Bathurst uh, 75s in Bathurst. 75s in Bathurst next week, and that game um, will basically be the game that determines who has the right to host the, the grand final. Correct. Yep. So that's the format. So plenty to play for, obviously, for both teams. Um, and Pano, no doubt, would um, love to come here and want to get a result so that they can have it all in their hands to go back and play 75 for the right to, to host and guarantee that it'll be hosted in, um, in Bathurst. Bathurst. Um, but I guess that's what's on the line for Barnsonworth today, um, that, that win today, and then they get an opportunity to potentially be playing at home uh, for a grand final. Yep, that's a lot to play for. So they'd really like the sign off here with the, with the victory here today. Yeah, absolutely. So should we take take a look at the teams? Do you want to um, take us through the Panorama FC team? No worries. So at the back we've got Chris Davis. He's a he's getting on a bit now. He'd be what in his mid thirties. Knew him when he was young. He was one of the best keepers in the Central West growing up as a as a teenager. But he's sort of had a bit of time out. He's come back. He's He's hard to beat in the air. He's pretty lanky. Gets down well, but you just got to yeah get him coming off his line a bit. I don't know. He's 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 a pretty good player. You have got Thomas Dale, defender. Um, Jarvis, Callan, McKenzie. You got the skipper Paul Long. Hayden Griffiths. 
Number 15, Dylan White. Then you got uh, Ryan Peacock. He's been around a while for now. He's, he's a solidly built. And, yeah, he no, loves nothing more than making his sort of presence felt. Uh, number six, William Fitzpatrick. Then you've got Stephen Long, Matthew Hobby, Jackson Fooder. Well, he's quite dangerous. They've got to really watch him today. And on the reserves bench, you've got Jaden Colbert, Alex Elliott. Well, he used to... Didn't he used to play for Barney's? He did. He did play for Barney's up yep, until so last week. So when he comes on, the, the juices will start flowing. Once um, Alex comes on, that'll be great. Uh, Bradley Campbell and Bryn White. The manager is Ricky Goulet. I hope I awesome. pronounced that correctly. <laughs> yeah. I, don't, I don't know. Maybe maybe Guio. I, I don't know. We could, we could see if we can grab him at halftime and ask him for the correct pronunciation. Smith. I hope I've corrected it correctly. Yeah. Smith. <laughs> So we'll take you through the Barnsworth United FC team. So we've got Brock Logan in in goals there, um, well established, um, talented goalkeeper there. We've got Grant Kosh, who's the captain, playing at centre back alongside Josh Ward, left back Benjamelli, right back Duncan McLean, um, left midfield Duncan Logan, um, central attacking midfield Luca Ross, right midfield Jarvis Murat, and then across the front three we've got Tim Dowler. Charlie Ross and Carlos Castrillion. Well, Carlos, he's just lit this joint on fire since he's come into town. Barney's have just, yeah, scored a gem in him. He, he's done lots and lots of, yeah, tap ins. Like, he's just absolutely, yeah, turned this team around in my books. Yeah, so and I understand that he is the joint golden boot for the Western Premier League through the regular season with, is it the Bathurst 75s player? I forget his name. Um, but I think he was the joint golden boot. So, as you say, he's been um, an incredibly impactful player for Barnsonworth through the regular season. Um, I understand he may have a little bit of a niggle. Um, so we'll see if he absolutely does start. Um, but you would imagine that he will be a really key player for Barney's. Correct. And, yeah, he's probably got his little head beanie on too. Like, he must find this orange weather really cold, I think. Yeah. <laughs> And um, quickly, just through the bench, because there has been some changes there for Barney's today. So Paddy Gillespie um, is also a new signing for Bunsenworth this year. Um, an Irish guy. He's pretty uh, solid. Yeah, very, very solid and loves to get in behind um, down on the wings and cross the ball back across the box. Um, then Daniel Casey, um, who's a, a, a young... Um, defender and can play on the wing as well, who's just doing his first year um, in the Western Premier League, having graduated from 16s last year. Um, and then we've got Michael Ayad and Cooper Bingham on the bench, who I imagine may be a relative. Ah, uh, yes, yes, he is. <laughs> <laughs> I taught him everything he knows, but not much. Awesome. And then obviously managed by Chris Jacobs um, today. Yeah, they're a very, very settled side this year. They've. Um yeah, they've looked really comfortable in most games, haven't really had a towel up and are playing a really, really good brand of soccer. But this Panorama FC side is dangerous. And if you treat them lightly, yeah, they'll, they're going to make you pay. So, yeah, Barney's have really, really, really got to be switched on today. Yeah, so just in the build-up, we can see the, the teams are now just starting to uh, file out of the file out of the dressing rooms and get ready to take the field. But as we, as we just watched that... Um, both teams appear like they're going to set up in 4-3-3 formations, maybe. Um, and obviously, those formations are always only a starting point. But tactically, um, what do you think might distinguish um, the play of the two sides today and what should we be looking out for? Oh, I don't know. You've got a Grant Kosh at the back. He's super superb. He's got to come up through the midfield a bit. Um, but yeah, they just they love that direct ball over to Carlos. Like the most of the goals I've seen him, he's just yeah shot through the middle with electric pace and just yeah clinically just finished it. I think they love that sort of style of finding him in the middle of the field. But they're just as effective of getting down the flanks, getting that good cross back across the six, across the spot. So yeah, that's Barney's. I reckon they'll be looking for those two options. And how about Pano? I haven't actually seen Pano play um, in me. person so seen far this season. This year. So do we know, um, we have any sense of whether or not they're more likely to um, try and keep the ball and build? Um, I guess that's what we're going to be what we're going to be watching as the game kicks off. Again, I've seen a lot of teams that like to play with the ball and play patiently with the ball. 
get frustrated on this field in particular um, yep. because sometimes there just isn't quite enough room to do that. Um, and teams that just play yeah, they a little will bit more directly ball. get rewarded. Panorama definitely will keep the ball, but I think in every Panorama player's mind, they're going to think back to the grand final of last year and knowing that they had a golden opportunity in their hands and they let it slip. So they know every game they've got to just come back and just make up for that. So they'll be really, really switched on today. So we'll go through the referees for today's game. Centre referee, they're all from Dubbo, all from Dubbo. So this is neutral refereeing here today. Uh, the centre ref is Luke Cameron. Assistant referee one is David Hemsworth. Assistant referee two is Michael Ellis. And the fourth official is an MD Bowers. So this is not Orange refs, not Bathurst refs. They're all from Dubbo. So this should be very, very interesting. Just to note, we've just uh, had a brief conversation with the Barnsonworth United manager. So Luca Ross is not starting. Um, and instead we have Paddy Gillespie who is straight on. I can see uh, Paddy appears to be playing in his usual position out on the uh, right wing. So I think certainly one thing to look out for for Barnsonworth today will be uh, Paddy getting in behind down that wing and putting crosses back across the box for late arriving strikers. Well, the referee's out in the middle there, laying the law down to both of them. So as you're watching on your screen, you'll obviously see Panorama um, in the darker strip um, on the left-hand side of your screen. And then on the right-hand side, you'll see Barnsonworth in the red and white stripes. Um, I reckon one slight challenge for the officials today may be the fact that both teams have got red, red socks. socks yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Could be interesting. Yes, and black might, shorts, actually. They're both wanna, wearing black shorts your head and red socks. You, you don't want to be that player with your feet, uh, your head looking down all day. You're going to get a bit confused. <laughs> this is a, it's an interesting uh, panorama strip, too. I'm pretty sure that's a chain strip of some yeah, sort. Yeah, that's their away strip. They've been wearing it all year. It looks pretty good, but, yeah, we probably shouldn't have had our red socks on. <laughs> it looks like the uh, kind of away strip that usually divides fans. You either love it or you hate it. Yeah. Let's see if it it's works a bit like that today. Everton sort of commando sort of third strip. <laughs> That's it. But just in black and grey. And we're off. Oh, he's took his time on the ball. Oh, he's been dispossessed beautifully. Oh, he's had a shot from... Good cider. So that was Tim Dowler there, yep. number 15, obviously making a good steal there. Well, that's a good challenge by Koshi there. Oh, another great header. Oh, he's headed it back to the keeper. Well done. See Grant Koshi has done well there to, to steady that and just put a header back through to the keeper. That was interesting watching the panorama there, the number two. Um, he wasn't necessarily keen on playing a longer ball early, and I wonder if that is a little bit of a sign that Panorama do favour trying to build out from the back rather than just playing more direct. Well, you'd probably want to this half with the wind sort of across your face a bit. That's a great ball down into the corner. This is exactly where um, Paddy Gillespie loves to live, um, making those runs in behind down, down wide on the great right and looking skill. to get crosses in. Crowd getting vocal in the corner there. That's great. Great to see. <laughs> Duncan's about to take the throw. Oh, he's looking for... Oh, a bit long. Easily cut out by Chris Davis. So, Barnsonworth obviously looking to find Carlos Castrillon there early in the box. So, he's a real, um, he's a real classic kind of number nine, isn't he? He's, yep. a, he's a big, big physical presence. With a lot of pace. Well, here we go. Peacock's made that run around the back. They didn't find him. Well cut out by Barney's. 
Duncan under a bit of pressure. Oh, he's given it away cheaply. Bit of a shirt pull. He obviously felt like he needed to uh, <laughs> make that foul, didn't he? Yes. he? He knew that he'd given the ball away in a very dangerous area there. So Panorama have got... Their first quality chance here. Yeah. Let's see what they can make of this. Interestingly enough, none of the tall timber at the back's come up for this. They'll be looking for Ryan Peacock here. Oh, straight into the wall. Well played. Well, here he goes. Safely back to the keeper. So I, I understand that Carlos might have been struggling with a little bit of a niggle. Well, whatever the niggle is, that it would have tested good. It. Oh, he's got him behind. Peeling for offside, but the linesman wasn't keen on it. Well, safely played away. Charlie Ross has done well there to steady that and yep. bring it down. But um, turnover again here. Well, Duncan, yep, unlucky, but probably needs to play a little bit shorter. Oh, beautiful ball down the side. He's, he's, he's still on side. He's behind. Oh, well cut out by Koshi. Oh, well played there. Oh, he's jumped over that one. Cross back across. Oh, well cut out. Oh, it's dangerous still at the top of the box. Oh, deflection, and it's in. So there we have our first goal for Panorama. They'll very, take very it. early on in the game. A big, big deflection there, Luke. Hit his shoulder and just lobbed over the helpless keeper. That's really unlucky for Barney's, but in this league, you just give them one chance. Most teams will take it. You could see Logan there, his weight... Um, as he anticipated the direction of the ball, had just taken him the wrong direction and he was completely stranded as it took the deflection. Yep. This will spur Barney's on here. They're going to have to yeah, wake up now and really challenge a bit. Comfortably played out. Time now, time. Oh, he didn't have anywhere to go, so he's played it back. It's well great done. Ball from Ward. Oh, that's it's a fairly that's a cynical one from the Panorama yep. centre back. So we're watching uh, Grant Kosh come up to stand over this free kick. He'll sit this up nice and high. She'll just drift in on the win. And there it is. Beautifully executed. Oh! Oh, it's hit the post. So unlucky. So but it's come back Josh into play. Ward. So Ward's on the ball. Heading it here. onto the post there. Very unlucky for Barney's. Barney's throw on the corner. Unlucky. I was going to comment on the fact that Josh Ward had come up from centre back for, for that set piece there. And it, um, Certainly, obviously, was very much the plan to try and get him into those sort of positions. He's a very, very versatile player too, like that, yeah. isn't he? Yep. In the air, on the ground. Barnsonworth have actually used um, the tactic this season on a number of occasions of uh, starting him in centre-back and then bringing him up to play as a, a striker or a number nine later in the game if it's needed. So he's definitely got that in his, in his locker. Pumped it long, well dealt with. Oh, beautiful switch. Oh, unlucky. Couldn't control it. It's a great switch. Beautiful switch. Unlucky, Patty. And the crowd gives him a bit what for. That's great. <laughs> Bathurst always travel well with their, with their supporters. Oh, that's a, that's a bit easy, giving him that much time to turn. Oh, he's got him behind. No, well cut out. 
Oh, he's kept it in. That's beautiful play from Barney's. Gone for that switch. Oh, it's over the top. Here we go for Barney's. This is exactly Down where Gillespie flank. loves to be. It's interesting, though. You, yeah, can, all, you can already see a, <laughs> a, a pattern emerging, can't you? <laughs> he wasn't really happy with his effort there, but that was, that was good soccer from Barney's there. And I think you can you can definitely see that Barnes and Worth are very much intent on trying to play forward a bit quicker. Um, and they're going to, I think, probably make a lot of that switch of play, trying to get Gillespie and maybe on this wing as well, Dowler in behind, whereas yep. Panorama seem much more intent on being just a little bit more patient in their build-up. That's a lot of room left. That's great. Oh, he's had a specky from a long way. It's all right. Nice and early on the game. He's allowed. You can see he only had one thing on his mind there as he was pushing into that space. That's what this field does to you. It's small and you've got the wind on your back. You just get excited and want to try it from everywhere. Hmm. He's capable, Jamelli, from range, though. So it's oh, very close, very close. Well cut out there by Chris Davis. It's an interesting little taste of what... Uh, uh, oh, Koshy up the great header. Castrillon really offers as well. It's a good matchup. Oh, they're using every centimetre of the pitch there. Oh, great tackle by Koshy. Looking for the Irishman, all unlucky. Oh, just a little bit long. Again, it's really pronounced, isn't it? As soon as they win it in that middle third, they're looking to get Gillespie in behind almost all the time. Oh, that was quite dangerous. Oh, he wanted that. He, Hayden Griffiths. A bit of a loose touch by Hayden Griffiths there, and he was committed to get it back, but the refs called it up. Now, it was fair from both players, wasn't it? They are both committed, but both both kept their eye on the ball. This this puts Barney's again into a really interesting attacking position. Be interesting to see if uh, yet yeah, Ward is up there again. Oh, no one could get to it. Tell you what, I don't, I don't think he's going to stay at one 0 by the end of this, is it? No. <laughs> This has already been a very, very attacking end-to-end -end game with lots of chances already. Straight out the full. Which is what we want to see yep. for the finals game. Both teams look very intent on playing positive forward football. It's not really been cagey at all, in fact. No. Steve along there breaks out, but he's... Duncan McLean intercepted that quite easily. Oh, well up for Hayden Griffiths. Well cut out. Looking for Paddy. Yeah, they've, they've found Kicks him again this feet. time. Oh, great defending, and that's a goal kick. Unfortunate, but again, uh, looks like we're going to be seeing a bit of that, aren't we? Yep. <laughs> well, they've obviously really decided that that right side is the one that they want to attack with that big diagonal. Nice and early every time. Yep. D to, to be fair to Panorama, they've defended it well so far, and um, Gillespie hasn't actually got any crosses away from that right Not wing. yet. Oh, that's well up. <laughs> oh. So that's Josh Ward there. He's just gone through the panorama number 10, Dale. It was a 50-50 and the crowd were looking for a card. But the Dubbo refs sort of letting it go and trusting both teams here to stay on top of it and not get too silly. So 
So we've got the panorama number six, Fitzpatrick, standing over this one. Logan's taking plenty of time, just making sure that they get the wall set right. Yep, he's got a four-man four, four man wall. What do you think here? Do you think he's going to look at uh, taking this on directly, or is he going to try and drop something onto the head of one of his attackers? Oh, there? If he goes direct, the keeper's got this covered. He'll want to sit it up high and draw him off his line. Oh, straight into the wall. <laughs> I, think he, I think he went for glory yeah, there. I think he did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great ball, but the keeper cuts it out easy. Well done there by Brock. He'll Logan's take, he'll done take well there, a confident day, take. Too much room there, and he's got him behind him. Keeper comes out, gets there first. Well done out of his box. Well, Logan's come out there, Manuel Neuer style, playing sweeper keeper. <laughs> Thomas Dale here with a throw in, just a, looking for six, but couldn't find him. He's played that ball down to Cash Carlos. Keeps it in. We got a really good look yeah. close up at Carlos. Gee, strong on the ball. Hayden Griffiths and Carlos there, though. They're going to have a good duel or good tussle all day here. So Ward and um, Castrillon are both up for this one. Beautiful cross. Well dealt with. That'll be a Barney's throw. So that's certainly uh, a tactic that looks like Marnsonworth will keep employing as well. So Ward's coming up for all of those set-piece opportunities. <laughs> Gillespie with the throw here. Great ball. Straight back to him. Oh, he, I'm not happy with that pass in. Oh, no way they break. Oh, well, well cut out. Defence straight into attack. Arm goes out and he's around. Top of the box. Curls one in. Oh, unlucky. Great shot. He did well there, Jamelli, again, yes. didn't he? So the, uh, the number six Fitzpatrick there did his best to actually just pull him down, seeing exactly what was on his mind. A little bit of a curling shot, looking for that right-hand corner, bottom corner. Not far away. We've got a goal kick here, Chris Davis standing over it. Yeah, Jarvis, Callum McKenzie there, he's rubbing his back after that. He's, he's in a bit of pain. Well done. Interesting. Barnsonworth have had a few minutes here of just some sustained pressure. Pano look like a team um, who like to have the ball at their feet. Um, and the longer they don't have it, looks like they, they probably can get frustrated. Um, so they've just been without it a little bit and they've given it away a bit in this last three or four minutes. Barnsonworth have had a little bit of pressure. Big long throw. Yeah. Peacock come in there, misjudge that completely. That's a good call by the ref. You can see the panorama plays just number 16. Peacock has just kicked the ball away. Yep. <laughs> He's run through that space. I love all those little things where players love to just push this the boundaries a, a little bit. We've got Kosh standing over this. William Fitzpatrick there. He's got the arms out in the back. That's it, ref. Sorted out. Nice ball up. Oh, great head of it. Couldn't get on top of it. There's Duncan Logan there with the... It uh, definitely looks like this could continue to be a bit of a pattern of the game with Barnsonworth enjoying these sorts of opportunities from set pieces and then continuing with that tactic of looking to feed that right wing. Plus that, yeah, that cross breeze is on their back, coming on their left shoulder. So, yeah, they're enjoying, enjoying that wind. 
Oh, it's a good tackle by Duncan McLean there. Too long. And that is the only uh, the only oh, no. challenge for the way that Barnsonworth have set up is that looking for that early ball. If you don't get it right, you can risk just giving the ball away a bit too much. So they've got to find a balance there between some control at the same time as playing forward early. I go too far, Timbo. Pretty sure that was six with his hands out again, just knocked him over. And again, it's a little, it's an interesting little period here, isn't it? Panorama are getting increasingly frustrated. Yep. They obviously feel like the ref isn't giving them some of the calls that they're after, but this is a, another set piece opportunity here for Barnston Worth. That's a better. He's chipped that up nice or well dealt with number two. Oh, what a shot! And that's in the top right hand corner. Well, quality. quality. The, the first strike from Panorama was good, but... That was better. That was an incredible strike from Grant Koch. It was on the half volley. Not easy to hit. Very difficult technique. Keeper, no chance no there chance at whatsoever. all. whatsoever. Top right-hand corner. That was a great goal. We're all level. That'll lift the spirits of Barnstone Worth. And Barnsonworth will feel pleased that that period of pressure that they had has now been rewarded. So the big question for me, Luke, now is to see how Pano respond to this. Yep. Oh, well cut out by Duncan McLean there. Well cut out there by Jackson Fooder. There's no doubt what Panorama will want is to try and get the ball to feet and actually just hold the ball for a period of time to get the game back into their own tempo. Oh, we still got it. Someone's got to tell him earlier. Oh, beautiful one too there. Oh, well cut out, well cut out. Oh, eight's made the surge and run. Oh, he's wrong-footed Duncan. Comes over. Oh, nine's through him. Pup. Oh, he went to cut in on his left foot. And great defending. It's very, very good covering defence from Kosh. He's been uh, been everywhere in the last last few minutes. But that was a covering tackle that needed to be oh, made. That had to be were... made. That had to be made. He was free on goal for a shot there if he didn't get that one. Oh, 50-50. Thomas Dale not really happy with that decision, but... It was a lovely little touch. A couple of very nice touches from Dale there. Goes for the nod on. So now we're seeing just a little bit of sustained pressure from Panorama. Yep. Pretty easy throw there. We've got to be a little bit tighter. No, keeper didn't want to come out and get it, so he had to clear it. But again, this is uh, just continues pressure. this little bit, a little period of pressure that Panorama are having now. Oh, well cut out. Oh, he's controlled it. Unlucky, it's gone out. See, Carlos was trying to uh, find Gillespie there and then continue his run forward to drag the centre backs out of the equation. He's kept it in. It's a Barney's throw. with the throw down the side. Oh, a bit of a push in the back there, but the ref saw it. So it's a free kick to Barney's. And this is what Panorama are going to have to work out, aren't they? Because they're not going to want to keep uh, 
having to defend these set pieces. Another dangerous position this. He'll sit this up nice and high. And here we go. Here we go. Oh, well up from everybody. Oh, great defending there. That had to be made. Looks for the big switch. Oh, he's found him. He's got to hit. Oh, he tries to get around his man. Well shielded off there. That was good play from the fullback there. It was a good piece of defending in the end, wasn't it? Was. it? It was also a, a, a great clearance there, obviously, to deny. Was, was it Ward who was shaping up to... Uh, I think it was Ward yes, out on that left-hand side who was shaping up to try and bury another one from a similar position to where Kosh has just only recently scored. Oh, great ball. Unlucky. There's a lovely little touch from Murat there. The Oh, that's a great ball in behind. He's... Oh, good foot in. Oh, good tussle. Oh, he's gone down the left-hand side instead of the right. A little bit long. <laughs> oh, well up. Dale with another throw. Oh, Castro snuck him behind the centre back there. He's trying to hold him out. Oh. Hayden Griffiths there, not really happy with himself. He knew that was a little bit slow and clumsy ish he he looks to the referee initially yeah. but he didn't look for very no. long because i think he knew he knew you know pretty you quickly can't do that <laughs> and miss the ball you've got to get the ball simple as that you don't get the ball that's a penalty every day of the week a free kick in a very uh, very dangerous position and i, I mean castrolon knew exactly what he was doing there too really in, inviting that inviting that, that foul challenge. and again barnsonworth are just loving these uh, free kicks that they're getting in this attacking third. So I think let's just have a look. So Kosh hasn't come up for this one, um, but I think Ward's there in the mix alongside Castrolon. Duncan Logan chips it in. Oh! It dipped. It dipped, but, but a bit, bit too about late. Two, two metres too late. <laughs> Uh, I wonder if he might have been a little bit better better advised to uh, try and bring Castrol on and Ward into the mix there at the back post. But yep. Oh, great ball down the line there. Hayden Griffiths playing safe and heading it out. That was a great ball by Kosh down in the corner there. Yeah, and again, I think Barnsonworth will be happy just to keep um, pinging longer balls into those corners. Because at the moment, it's been very effective in pinning Panorama down. Oh, Dunks played right back for safety. Start again. Panorama looking to press. Well cut out. Oh, one, two. And he's away. He's got him behind, but he... too long and easily dealt with there. It's interesting, though. That's a, definitely a pattern of play for Panorama. So their number 10 long is constantly looking to uh, slip Peacock in particular in behind. Yep. This is the problem though for Panorama, isn't it? The you know when they don't hold on to the ball at the moment, the pattern of the game is whenever they give it away, they just find themselves pinned back down in their own half. 
Oh, great, Heather. Oh, they're away. Nine's made that overlap and run, but well cut out. Oh, Kosh on one foot slipping over. Still nearly got that switch done. Oh, that ball's a bit soft. Oh, and we're away here. Great. Oh, just a little bit too far in front of him. I'm surprised the referee hasn't given that for a foul because I uh, tell you what, if Gillespie hadn't jumped. <laughs> oh, this is dangerous for absolutely. Panorama. Oh, too long, too long. And that's over the, harmlessly over the back line. <laughs> Gillespie's having a bit of a chat to the assistant referee on the other side, sort of asking the question. What well, that one was. Again, as you Quite were mentioning short. before, Luke, it's interesting. Uh, I mean, the, the default um, sort of option when there's nothing else on for Barnsonworth is absolutely just ping it diagonally wide at Gillespie. Yep. Oh, that's a great ball in behind. Oh, and he reached out, just couldn't control it. Great effort by Matthew Hobby there. It was close, but he just couldn't get his foot around it. It was a great run by Hobby, wasn't it? Yes, that was. And it was also a fantastic ball. Who was the, who, who was the Panorama player who put that ball across the box? I'm trying to work out. I'm not sure if it was Peacock. Or Stephen Long, maybe. I'm not sure. Yeah, it might have been Long. Um, but it's a good ball across. Yeah, Logan, Logan was in uh, complete no man's land. Couldn't really come for it. No. Well, great glance and header. Oh, he's come, come looking for it. He's chipped it over, just a bit long. Well cleaned up by Chris Davis. Quick roll out. Jackson Fuda, nice ball to Peacock. Straight back to him. Oh, he's looking for that runner down the line. He's found him. Paul Long back inside. Top of the box, has a shot, but it was wide. The weight of pass there to uh, put the panorama player down into that left-hand yeah, corner was beautiful, wasn't it? Yeah, that was a beautiful it? ball of the skipper in the corner. That was pinpoint accurate. So that was the number number four. Paul Long, the captain. And he did well there to uh, feed Stephen Long as well. That was a really good chance. I assume that um, they are brothers. Just a guess. Just a guess. <laughs> They, they clearly had a good understanding with that play. Uh, well glanced on. <laughs> He's always looking for Peacock with that throw. Well brought down. He's found Hobby. Good defending there by Barney's. Yeah, Jamelli's done well there. To stick to the task. This is, game's really ebbed and flowed, hasn't it? Yep. We're again just in one of those little periods where Panorama are having some joy. Well shielded off the ball. That was great defending by Barney's. Oh, Duncan put that beautiful ball through and here we go. Foot race. Oh, and he, great shot with his left. And, and was that Logan who put that ball yeah, through? Yeah, it was a beautiful ball by Logan. Uh, I think you could have just stopped and admired that pass. Just on its own for a good 10 or 15 seconds. It's a lovely ball off the outside of his foot. Hayden Griffiths and Carlos, they're absolutely having a wonderful tussle here today. Yeah, Griffiths did well there. He, he stuck to the task and he obviously um, let Castrolon know that he was there was yeah. enough to uh, maybe put him off that final shot. But really does highlight the threat that he's going to continue to pose. Yes. Well, the skipper's got it in the corner, looks for the cross, and we've got a corner. This will be another corner for Panorama here. McLean there. So Fitzpatrick looks like he's going to take this corner. Yeah. 
Looks like they've got to try to move on here. Top of the box. Peacock drops back to far post. Well, well dealt with. Carlos unlucky. Chris Davis with a long clearing kick. Well done by Duncan McLean. Oh well, cut out there. But he's kept he it in. The skipper's kept long again. Oh. Looking for another cross. Well, again, Panorama still just enjoying a little bit of a period of sustained pressure. Yep. Looking for the skipper. Defender on his back still finds it. Back to the top. Ball across. Well dealt with. But we have an offside. It's attractive play from Panorama. Yep. They clearly pose a threat. It's a, it's a very different kind of threat to the way that Barnes and Worth play. They're, they're much more interested in getting on the ball in and around the edge of the box. Looking to yeah, pass, they don't, have the, pace, they don't have the pace up front that mm. Barney's have got. Let's go, Timmy. You blow the roof. I think number nine must have said something to the ref there. He just sorted it out quickly. Beautiful ball. But well defended by Panorama. I reckon it's, uh, as a defender, you love to know that you've got a central striker who's comfortable coming and playing with his back to goal and contending or contesting every single one of those kind of balls, trying to bring it down. <laughs> there he is again. Found him. There he is. <laughs> Someone's got to link up with him. Timmy, come wait, Timmy, Timmy, come wait. Bring me Tim. Back to square one. Restart. Look for that long ball. Beautiful. Found him in space. Man on there and on. Great tussle. Nice ball down the line. Oh, he's looked inside. Peno throw nice and quick. Well dealt with by Barney there. Looking for his brother. He's found him. Beautiful ball. Beautiful header. Oh. <laughs> well, you, you can probably hear on the broadcast, no doubt, the Barnson with bench suggesting to the referee that he might do exactly what he has just done. Yep. Um, if you're so going to commit a tackle like that, the ball has to be very, very close to your foot, not a metre and a half away. Yeah, so that was Dale there, I think, number two. Is that right? Who's received that first yellow card of the game. Another dangerous position for Barney's. Again, this is an interesting one. So both Kosh and Ward have come up for this one. So they've obviously decided this is a, they could play a good opportunity. Direct ball across to the free by here, number seven. Oh, they found far post. Great header and a finish. He's on side, and that's a great goal from Barnes. So it's Jarvis Murat there with the finish. Number six for Barnsonworth United. Incredible ball by Josh Ward back across the face yeah. of goal. That was the quality, the ball across. And he was jolly on the spot. 
to finish it off. That's a goalkeeper's nightmare going to the back post and seeing it come straight back across to the other near post. That was an awesome finish by Barney. Yeah, so all the momentum of the goalkeeper and the defenders is takes you one direction and then suddenly the ball goes back the other direction. So that was Jarvis Morat. Oh, he's Just pumped again. it long, top of the box. Great defending. Oh, hands all over him. And magic, Benny boy. Don't jump in. Oh, well. Concentrate. Gotta get up. They must have made a sub because Peacock's off, so someone knew he's come on for Penno. Yeah, we'll see if we can work out those numbers and get you the sub as soon as we can sort it out for ourselves. We're just, we're just watching Barnsonworth immediately having gone ahead, now needing to uh, concentrate and defend a set piece, a corner here. Oh, glancing header. I think it was Kosh coming across the front post there and getting yep. ahead on it first. Well done. Well, Seven's made that run down on the byline and he's received it straight back. Top of the box, no one's on six. Oh, he shanked it. Not happy with it. There was no pressure on six there, was there? No. Could have done better, but he'll be waiting for his next turn. And I think we can report for you that the substitute is number seven, um, who's playing looks like Colbert. some sort of central striking role, Jaden Colbert. Yeah. So that's Peacock off and Colbert on. That's a better kick. Oh, it's bouncy no man's land. Oh, here we go. Here's a chance. Oh. Well defended by Jarvis Cullen, Cullen there. Oh, it's fallen. Dunks had a big specky. Oh, and they played it short and sharp here. Panorama, nice and quick. Wants him to do that overlap and run. Oh, he sucked three in there. Well cut out. <laughs> Josh Ward, just to be absolutely certain, has kicked yeah. it about two football fields out of the uh, out of the park. I would be willing to bet that uh, Barnsonworth United would probably be pretty happy, happy just to one, yeah, lock everything up until half time. Suck some big ones in and see this half out. bit late. Oh, he got in behind. Great save. Didn't that make the contact he wanted, but that was a good little play there. Good little passage of play there by Panorama. So that was uh, the number seven Colbert who's just come on. Oh, that's a great goal kick. That put the fullback under enormous pressure, but he dealt with it well. Oh, he's found a bit of room in there. Ten. Looks for the ball in again. This could be dangerous. Keepers out. And that's a finish. Gave him a little bit too much room. That's exactly what Barnson with United were trying to avoid. Yep. They would have loved to have gone to half time with that one goal cushion. But um I look, I guess if you're if you're a neutral and you're watching the stream yep. today, this uh ensures that this tie continues to uh continues to hold interest. You give a bloke a metre and a half room in this grade and most of them are going to make you pay. And yeah, so I think that's, that all, was that's all he had to do with it. He's, he's put it perfectly in. So that was the number nine hobby, wasn't it, who finished yep. that? And fair play. We've seen some uh, fantastic finishes yes, today. Yes, beautiful finishes from both sides. And um, the, other, the other player that we should give credit to with that play was Stephen Long, the number 10, who put that ball... That threaded pass through that found Hobby. Mm. It's a great Perfect. way to pass. Yep. To be fair to Logan, um, he didn't really have a chance to, yeah. to get out to it. The pass was beautifully weighted. Here we go. Keeper comes up. Well punched away. It's back in the hands of Barney's there. 
Beautiful chip up there, all wind up here, and it's... No, it's offside. <laughs> offside in the lead up. So, interestingly enough, Gillespie, who's now out here playing on the left, um, that's really the first cross he's managed to get into the box, yep. um, which he's now managed to get, having come on playing on the left wing. Um, Carlos Castrillon buried that, but Barnsonworth, to their frustration, turned around to see the... Uh, the assistant referee with his flag up. Yep. Nice. Looking for Daniel Casey there, but just couldn't quite find him. That's a panorama throw. Oh, great hit. I'll be running a channel on the left there. So he's been out on the right, now on the left. So we're into the dying moments of this first half. What have you made of it, Luke? Oh, it's been excellent finishing. The goals we've seen here today have all been top shelf, high quality. Oh, that's a great climbing header. Quick throw. Another great header, two in a row there. I was going to say, I mean, again, just trying to think like a neutral. Um, at a finals game, what you really want to see, you want to see passion, you want to see attacking football, you yep. want to see chances, you want to see goals. And a ref letting and it go and not having to yeah, put a huge stamp on it, letting the boys just be boys and play sensible. Yeah, and then this, this half has had all of those things. So uh, certainly from a pure footballing perspective, it's been good to you watch. can't be disappointed. That's a bit easy. He just come and receive that. He's at the top. Oh, flashes across the goal. But Fair play to the number seven, Colbert. He's made an impact since he came on. He's been working hard. This may be the last, the last kick of kick the first of the half. Yep. We'll see kick if of the... the first uh, half. Haven't really had any stoppage time, so... No. Oh, great ball through, but that's half-time in this entertaining game of soccer. Yeah, so that's Luke Cameron, the centre ref for today, blowing for half-time. So don't go away. Maybe get a cup of coffee, yep. get something, something to eat, warm. get a snack, but don't leave us because it is two all here at Jack Brabham Park in this Burmak Western Premier League final between Barnsonworth United and Panorama FC, and it is all to play for and all square for the second half.
Welcome back here to Jack Brabham for the second half of this Burmak Western Premier League preliminary final between Barnstoneworth United and Panorama FC. Lights are on. Wind has sort of eased up. It could even be half a degree warmer. <laughs> half a degree warmer, you reckon? <laughs> well, welcome back for this second half of this Burmak Western Premier League finals game between Barnstoneworth United Football Club and Panorama FC from Bathurst. You are, as has just been mentioned, observing sunny August orange at Jack finest. Brabham Park. If you're only just joining us, the game is extremely interestingly poised at two all. Thoughts on the first half, Luke? Barney put the pressure on early. They went behind, equalised with a superb gold. Then they took the lead and just one split second of sort of loose marking and bang, it's back to 2-2. Two -two. All your hard work's gone down the toilet or it's a reset and this is it. 45 minutes to see who wants the first crack at 75 to get into a grand final. So both teams will be keen and hungry. The breeze has sort of eased up. So now Barnstoneworth are theoretically running into it. So we'll see if Panorama want to play long, but... I don't, they don't play long. Yeah, well, and that's been an interesting it. feature of the first half, hasn't it? We've seen a little bit of uh, how both teams probably want to play, where they feel most comfortable. So Barnstonworth have spent a lot of time playing direct, um, playing quickly to the wings to try and get their wingers in behind. Um, Panorama look like they want to play with the ball at their feet a little bit more and play just that little bit more patiently. And when they haven't been able to do that and they've given the ball away early, they've, they've gotten frustrated. Yes. Um, There's been at least one uh, one yellow so far. Yeah, so Good I think we've got one of the. I think it's Dale, who's on a, on a yellow card. Um, other than that, no cards. I, I'm just super looking forward to uh, another another half of attacking, exciting football. And we're off. Duncan McLean with a long ball, or dealt with easily there, but. Panorama. Oh, he's in. Carlos is in. And he has one. Oh, well saved by Chris Davis. Great shot. Well, based on the first 20 seconds, I don't think the pattern of the first half is going to change. Yep, and with a nice long kick, they're going to be copping them all day. Oh, it's three hitters in a row. It's four one for ten. Oh, Duncan McLean's cleared it away, but... Hobby's looking for a bit of help and he's played it back. Nice one too. Triangle in or he's ran over it. Oh, great defending. Great clearance. And Castrolon's done really well with his back to goal there again, hasn't he? Yes. He just scraps for everything. Constantly looking to bring his wingers into play when he holds the ball up. Panorama played all the way back. Looking for seven. Oh, that's a beautiful one too. And he's away down the sideline. Great defending. <laughs> By Jamelli, that was a good tackle. Oh, he's got some time. Some nice one too, there, but well cut out by Barney's. Thomas Dahl with the throw. Good footing by Charlie Ross there. Another great tackle there by Ross. It had to be made. And then Barnsonworth just getting a little bit pinned back here. Panorama enjoying a little, little passage here of some possession. He snuck around, but easily cut out. Well, he's gone direct from the top of the box there. Well, he's made that run. Duncan McLean's come off to the skipper, but he 
Skippers just surge away, but that's beautifully cut out. Oh, Jackson food off. McLean with the throw. Oh, he's found his man. Good nod on. find his man there with that kick. Yeah, I felt like he looked at Jamelli. Yes, and the ball <laughs> bobbled a little bit and I went, oh, make good contact. Yeah. So he was, he was looking for Jamelli on that left-hand touchline, but he ended up finding pretty much the middle of the park. And we've got Dale now here with a, a throw for Panorama over on that far side. Corner. Barney's better switch on with this corner here. This is dangerous early on in the second half here. Yeah, Culbert's hate to go well behind. Then. Looks like Stephen Long's going to take this corner. Actually, Panorama are taking an interesting approach to this. Almost all their players are hovering right Top on the, the edge box. of the box. Hobby's going to look around and peer around the back. Oh, keepers come out. Oh, great tackle. And that's too long. There's a solid tackle from Jamelli there, but the Barnsonworth United defence dealt with that pretty well. So here we go with Logan with a goal kick. So the Barnsonworth players that you want to be looking out for, I think, again, um, is going to be uh, Gillespie and Daniel Casey out here on this right wing. So Gillespie played a good chunk of the first half on the right wing, but now he's out again on the left. And we've got Daniel Casey, who's one of Barnsonworth United's youngest players, out here on the right wing. This could be dangerous here. He's going to look to chip it in. Nice and long, nice and high. Brock's come up. He's been challenged mid-air. It's play on by the ref. He's hurt his shoulder. Oh, he's lucky. Hobby's miss hit that one. That was an excellent ball back um, across to uh, to Hobby from the, the number seven Colbert, wasn't it? Yes. Brock Logan would want to work on that shoulder a bit. Yep, he's feeling it. But I'm sorry to say he's going to be feeling a lot of that all day. This work, this breeze is on their back. They're going to want to sit that ball in all day right there. Mm. I think he was a bit frustrated that he didn't get a call from the referee there. Yes. He felt like he was he was fouled in the air, I suspect. Well, that's a great kick. Oh, well-weighted ball. And he's first two. Oh. Barney's throw in. So we're going to see McLean take this throw in for Barnes and Worth. Should be looking for a long throw, a bit of breeze on his back. He's played it nice and short. Nice one, two. Oh, beautiful cross, but well cut out by the keeper. You'll probably just pump this straight downtown through the middle. Oh, well dealt with. Beautifully brought down. That's good defending. Oh, Benjamin, he's made a big long run from the back. Oh, he's had a shot. Oh. That's another pattern of the game from the first half that's re-establishing itself again, it's isn't it? a 35-metre <laughs> run there. That's a good run. Shame about the accuracy there, but that was, that was a good play. Nice long kick there by Christo. Oh, well up again. Well met. 
Well, a bit of pressure here from Panorama. But well dealt with. Well, that's a nice firm challenge. You can Charlie see, Ross here, not really happy. See, the Panorama players are all encouraging the referee to think about giving Ross a card for kicking the ball away. Um, that relieves a bit of pressure for Panorama. They've now got a free kick and an opportunity to uh, get There's the tall timber up front. High ball in. Oh, that's a corner. It was a Duncan Logan, I think, who dealt with that one. Yeah, great header. Away to safety, and that's what I'm saying. That Barney's be doing a lot of defending this half. Yeah, they're not taking any chances either, are they? So they've got Jamelli and Casey on the post, and Ward and Logan and McLean and Kosh all defending that central area of the box. Too far for Hobby, and oh, it's hit the flag, and that's a throwing. Panorama would be frustrated with that, wouldn't they? Yeah, that needed to be quality, but wind on your back, you get excited. <laughs> Barnes and West would probably have much preferred for that to have gone out for a goal kick, wouldn't they? Yes. They, they still got to get themselves out here. Well, he's come back looking for it. No help from the referee there. It's, they've got to stay focused here, Barney's. Don't want to waste all their energy. Oh, beautifully intercepted there. Oh, Paddy's. Oh, great tackle by 15 from Panorama there. That was dangerous for, for Barney's. Oh, McLean back. Safety. Restart. Oh, beautiful drag back. Jamelli's done really well there. Lovely turn. Oh, the young fellas pushed in on him. And that was Dale there doing well to steal the ball back great. off Jamelli. Yep. Hobby's the only one up there. Oh, and he, a mistake from beautiful crossover. There's no one there. The skipper's chasing his backside off, and he's got it. He's looking for a bit of help. Oh, great tackle. It's a good tackle in the end from McLean there. <laughs> Might be a long throw here from Jackson, we'll see. No, short to the skip, lays it back. Oh, he's got around his man. Nice cross back to the top. Oh, no one's on him. And that's... Not his greatest shot at goal, but he was in position. He was there. It's very similar position to the one that Hobby got in a short time ago as well. So they'd be disappointed with uh, their inability to actually convert those chances because that was a fantastically that was, yeah, that created was a chance. That he didn't yeah. even test the keeper, but oh, that's a great kick into the wind. Oh, he's climbed all over him. Keepers come out. <laughs> well, the skips cut it out. There's a solid slap of flesh on yeah. flesh there. Dylan White and Charlie Ross here. Yeah, that was a nice, hard, challenging football. Oh. And, uh, no one's taking a backward step here. No. 70. Oh, Panorama looking to press, but that's that's a silly silly challenge. <laughs> yeah. uh, Jamelli was practicing his hurdles there. <laughs> <laughs> he did a pretty good job in the end to yes. kind of just uh, dodge the worst of the challenge. Right in front of the Panorama crowd that's made the 55k journey. Oh, well up. That's a big challenge from three. Oh, well cut out. Here's a chance. He's through. Oh, and he shoots over and wide. Unlucky. That was Gillespie's best chance of the afternoon. By far. 
And again, a bit like the two that Panorama had earlier, I think he'd be a bit disappointed with that effort. Yep. In a fantastic position. He stuck him there and just stole it between the two of them. <laughs> Not his best kick there. So before we get to the uh, really, really pointy end of the, uh, the second half, <coughs> I think it's always good to... Uh, Explore some slightly more light-hearted talking points, but <laughs> Charlie Ross, number seven for Barnsonworth United. Don't we all love a player that plays with his socks down? Yeah. Old school. Yeah. And... Obviously, he's never broken his leg. That's one guarantee. Oh, there's a bit of free room there. He's had one. Oh, great save. It's bounced back out. Oh, and that's great defending. I tell you what, they did yep. just about enough, Bunsen there, didn't they? Yep. So it was a good stop from Logan. All the Bener uh, Panorama players better listen to the coach uh, once he yelled that instruction out. <laughs> and most of them quickly did. <laughs> yes. And in the end, you know, Ward, you know, scrambled enough. Yep. Won, won the foul. Yep. And that was pressure off. Yep. That was ballsy defend and he put his body on the line with that challenge. Oh, they found a bit of room. Oh, but he just couldn't find his man there. Fifteen's looking. Oh, beautiful one too. Well cut out. Oh, Hobby just hey! hits him from behind. Late and slow from number nine. Oh, he's not real happy, but you've got to make it look more realistic if you're going to tackle like that. <laughs> so he's just coming to the boil nicely, this yep. game. Certainly uh, plenty of passion on show. Yep, just stating once again, they're not orange refs, they're not Bathurst refs, they're from Dubbo, so... They're as neutral as any. So that's the second yellow card of the game. Yep. Um, both of them have gone to Panorama so far. So that one for Hobby. So we've got Hobby and Dale on a on a yellow. We'll see if that comes to matter more as we get towards the back end of the second half. But at this stage, Panorama have got to uh, got to get back inside their heads and play some football. Dig in and defend <laughs> this set piece. So we've got Kosh standing over this one again. Oh, he's chipped in beautifully. Out comes the keeper. Oh, great challenge. Great keeping. That was brave keeping yeah. and also uh, brave from Attacking, Ward there. Yep. That was football at its finest there. Yeah. So just while, we, while we've got this little uh, little opening here as well, so that the other comment I was going to make about Ross um, is that I reckon if there was a... Uh, if there was some sort of a, uh, a vote today on the most impressive hairstyle, yeah, the mullet's not too bad. Not yeah, too bad. don't you reckon? Uh, don't you reckon this is just some slight Warwick Kappa vibes yeah. there? <laughs> oh, great pullback! Didn't Warwick Kappa play with his socks down? Yes, tight shorts, socks down the bottom. Had to go in hospital once. Had to go in hospital once for exploratory surgery on his. To retrieve his shorts, but we'll, we won't do any more of that. That's oh, great play. <laughs> oh, he's cleared it, but he's not really happy off the side of the boot. Oh. Duncan with the clearing. That great was a kick. more convincing oh, clearance. Oh, this could turn defence into attack. But... <laughs> Castellon's pleading, yep. pleading some innocence there, but I, I think probably that's, yep. that's about right. Right decision, and yep. the crowd was giving it to him as well. <laughs> Oh, he's found Hobby, but Hobby's been dispossessed beautifully. He's making that run from the back. Oh, well cut out by five. Duncan better be careful. Oh, Skip's come around the back. Well done. Oh, Skip has kept it in. He's looking for a bit of help, and he's 15 on the scene. Quality cross, but well... 
Well taken by the keeper. Yeah, it was too straight in the end, oh, wasn't he's it? He's thrown it with 15. his other hand. That's a beautiful throw out. Oh, he's Gillespie. got it. He's kept it in. See what he can make out of a cross here. He's looking for Carlos. Someone's got to arrive at the top. He snuck in. Oh, great keeping by Chris Davis. Great effort. That was end end stuff, that was. Oh. Yeah, I reckon um, I reckon the speed of the game's gone up in the last five minutes. What yeah, do you that's think? That's for sure. But both teams are, are actually playing, if it's at all possible, even more directly than they were in the in the first half. So you know, pretty much both sides are now increasingly just looking to go as long as possible, as quickly as possible the moment they win the ball. This is a dangerous area for... Panorama, this Barney's better be on their toes here. Yep, this is an excellent opportunity. I think he's going to have a crack. And he has. Oh, well kept. Well gloves. So I think that was long standing over that one from Panorama, wasn't it? Yep. yep. That's a great kick. But great Griffiths header from has done five. Well. Oh, Dunks. He's looking for a runner in that corner. And Hayden Griffiths with a clearing kick there. Looks like there's going to be a few subs. Okay, so Barnes and Worth are just going to make their first substitution for the second, for half. The second half. So we've got Daniel Casey off and Cooper Bingham, Comes number on. 12. <laughs> Stepping into the fray for the first time for the afternoon. McLean looking for some easy feet. Don't know if he's going to find it. Oh, here we go. Corner. No. It's a goal kick. Wait, it's got to be got to be a corner ref. <laughs> There's a little bit of confusion between the two officials there, but they've sorted it out, and that's a corner every day of the week. So it's going to be Gillespie standing over this one. Barney's hoping for some quality service here. This is their chance. Both Caution Ward have come up again from centre back for this one. Oh, he's gone for the low one. Didn't really meet anyone, though, but well cleared by Panorama. It's not a bad option sometimes, is it? Because it can be actually quite hard to both predict and also defend. I've just got to find someone. Oh, well up by Paddy. Oh, Bingham's in there, but he couldn't get it. And that's a great clearing kick. Here comes number seven. Too long, and the keeper claims it easily. Oh, that's a great. Is Charlie trying to slip Castellan yep. in there with a first time just ball. A tad too far in front of me. So we do have a little bit of a readjustment as well with Bingham on for Barnsonworth. So Charlie Ross has come out onto nice. this left hand wing. Oh, he's made that run. It's got to be a big tackle. Great tackle, and here we go. Charlie Ross looks inside. Beautiful. Oh, well cut out by five. Oh, the skipper's drifted wide. That's a ball. Challenging ball in. Oh, just seven there. Lunges, but just couldn't reach it. Yeah, so Colbert there making... Making a run. A good run by Colbert. Good run. And then uh, Logan Logan sort of hesitated just for a moment. He wasn't quite sure whether or not to come. Come off the line. In the end, the cross was just a little bit too much of a stretch for Colbert, but another another hard in mouth moment for the Barnsonworth United defence.
Brock with another great kick. But well cut out there by Charles Callum. Bingham and Callum plays it nicely back. Oh, I just. Oh, that's a body check, but the ref said play on. Cut out. Yeah, the, uh, the the temperatures continuing just to uh, just to gradually rise, and part of that is obviously the fact that it's still too all. So neither team is comfortable. No. And both teams know they need to uh, do something to affect the game. Duncan's got to get back in position because this is freed turn up with a lot of room over here. He's looking for a quality cross. And someone's got to get... Oh, and he's kicked it in. Charlie Ross there. That's a great finish. Goes over to the crowd. You love the travelling fans. <laughs> Hello. The Panorama team have gone and celebrated in front of their fans. Well, I guess we were just saying a moment ago that the temperature was going up and it was all to play for. This is their second time in front leading this game, so we'll see if they want to hold on to this lead. Yeah, so this next five minutes will be interesting, won't it, to see what Panorama now do, whether or not they, they press or whether or not they uh, sit back. try and sit back a little bit. And obviously, from a Barnsonworth United perspective, the onus is now on them to make the running. Straight through Bingham's back there. It's a foul every day of the week. And we've got another yellow card for Panorama there. That was a, what you might describe on. as a, uh, a challenge that lacked subtlety. Yeah. <laughs> By Fuda there on Cooper Bingham. Straight through the back. Oh, the coach from Panorama's not happy with the consistency from the ref, but when you come through someone's back... Oh, that's a great long ball up. Top of the box. Well dealt with, though. It's dropped to six. Oh, well blocked by five. Hayden Griffiths here with a great block. Oh, he's pumped the long ball straight in. Keepers off his line. Bingham with a chance to finish it. It's hit the defender. Oh, well done by Panorama there. So it was uh, it's a Bingham Jackson with a golden Fuda there. Chance. <laughs> golden chance and the defenders saved it. Fuda's done very, very well on the line there. Keeper's yeah. very glad he's two fullbacks got behind there. I think the Barnsonworth players were initially wondering whether or not Castellon might have been fouled by the keeper, but um Oh the keeper's come out again. He's gonna to try to dummy over this, not. It's alright. Panorama definitely pumped up. Come on boys, come on Barney, let's go. Barney's have got to dig deep here. Show a bit of ticker. Yeah, you can probably hear the Barnsonworth bench there. Urging their players on here. They've got a lift. Still yeah, got plenty of time. Yeah, there's about 20 minutes to play. I imagine there might be a little tiny bit of added on time. A lot of room for eight to do a quality cross, but a little bit long. Hobby tried his best to get on the end of it. Panorama of say, oh, there's another ball from the other fields come on. Well, one thing, we were wondering if uh, Panorama were going to uh, sort of go back into their shells and just defend. Um, that hasn't really been the case since they've gone a goal oh, up. that's a beautiful charge there by Bingham. Paddy's got it, and he's stripped his man. 
on his look for the ball across, but he's cut it out. Golden chance gone big in there, but that was good defended by Panorama. All peeling for offside. And... <laughs> that was a great practice shot from number seven there. No one on him after the whistle's gone. Yeah, I mean, look, <clears throat> for, we were almost where we're standing, right in line with that. And, I mean, he, Half he, a metre he, at he, least. Yeah, he misjudged that by some distance. Well, that's a great long clearing ball. Carlos looking for it, but just couldn't quite climb up. Jarvis Murat there, giving away the foul. Play short. Bobby's come back to look for it. Oh, he's made that run down the line, but I couldn't find him. Yeah, there was Dale there. Yeah, at the right back. Making that darting run forward. Again, my, my impression is that uh, Panorama are much more interested in playing forward quickly rather than building up as they were in the first half. As we watch Gillespie here. Oh, well cut out by five there. That was, that to, was uh, a dangerous ball in. Bingham with the ball, his feet. And Cooper Bingham there is one Barnson worth. Thomas Dale there brought him down. A free kick there. Which is in another one of these good positions for Barnson worth to get Ward and Kosh up into the box alongside Castellon. Let's see if they can make something up. happen from a set piece. Oh, he's chop all to the Irishman. Here we go. And he's... No, finish was... I don't, I don't mind the variation. That was a good variation for sure. Because you could see the, the panorama Weren't defense was... It. We're not ready for it, yeah. They were just expecting the... Uh, more obvious ball into the centre of the box for Ward or Kosh. Oh, that's a great surging run. He's just straight through two defenders. Oh, but that's well cut out. Well cut out by Fuda there. Oh, that's a great ball down in the corner. Skipper's made the run. Quality cross. Oh, Hobby with a with a shank, but he was there. He was in position. He done all the hard work. It was lovely play from Panorama, realistically. Spreading it wide quickly. Yep. Long getting in behind. Lovely cross back across the goal. Well, Seven's trying to turn his man. Oh, great tackle. Oh, he's had a long range. Oh, oh great save. He had to get down to his left, and that's a top-class save. It took a deflection, that one, didn't it? Which is just always that's a, hard a challenge save to for make. the keeper. Last second, he's had to drop right down to the deck two inches off the ground. Here they are, uh, the, the Panorama Coach coaches giving, giving instructions, instructions <laughs> to the, the Panorama team about not doing anything stupid and just trying to manage the game to hold the lead. Stephen Long here with his corner, a bit narrow. Easily dealt with there by Barney's. Paddy with a great challenge there, but... Duncan's a little bit soft on that header and Panorama's got it. Oh, Bingham's committed the foul there. Nearly got the ball. <laughs> but straight into the book for Bingham. <laughs> yeah, he was, he was kind of re reaching from behind, wasn't yeah. he? I think he's going to start pulling some cards out now. I think if he's going to be consistent like the uh, Panorama coach was saying, yeah, he's You've got to be really careful now with these tackles because he's just going to pull a card out and say you didn't get the ball. He let it go the first half a lot, but it looks like. And yeah, you're tempted to think that they, those challenges are going to keep coming as we get towards yep. the business end of this game. 
This could be a, Take a ball, Charlie. This could be an absolute. He looks like he's going for glory. He wants to put the sink through it. All oh, great defending. Oh, we'll cut it. I think what the Panorama 15 did there sums up their mentality at the moment, which yep. is just <laughs> thump it forward. It's playing our attacking half. <laughs> Great tackle. He, uh, he played for that one. Yeah, I was just going to say. He, he, uh, played by number four. Carbon. <laughs> textbook. Yeah, he, he, he only ever really had his eyes on yep. the player to make sure that he got cleaned up and went down, which is But that's fair, what you got to do in this Fair break. enough. They're, they're doing everything they can now, obviously, Panorama, to just slow this down and make sure that they play as much of it as they can in their attacking half. Beautiful ball in. Keeper comes. Only half touches it. Oh, well dealt with by Barney's. Oh, looking for that long ball. Oh, it's hit his back. Oh, so close for Paddy Gillespie there. That was. Castellon has a way of making you think that he doesn't have the ball under control and yes. then at the last moment <laughs> somehow getting a touch. Um, too long. Oh, for a moment there, I thought that Charlie Ross might have just been able to sneak onto that, but. A tad too far in front of him. Yeah, I think it was an, an illusion created by the angle we have from where we are. So we've got Chris Davis standing over a goal kick here. Oh, seventh trying to get him behind. Well, he plays it back to the keeper. Got away with that one. That's all right. And Barney played out. Castellan's calling for this. Well cut out by Fuda there. Had to be made. Quick, quick. He's got to have an option. So he's gone long and done the switch. Oh, he's... Hobby... Hands up there, didn't want to get penalised. Well played out to Duncan McLean. Oh, that's a nice one too, but well cut out. That was well jumped by the panorama play there. <laughs> You've actually had, just in that passage of play there, a rare moment from both sides actually engaging in some more intricate play with the ball on the deck, which they haven't really done much of this half, but uh... well, He's made that overlap and run the fullback and, oh, great tackle. And the, uh, the intensity's just gone up a, a notch again. As Barnes and Worth are increasingly uh, showing urgency, as you expect they should. And we've now got about 10 minutes, probably, if you count some, some added on got time. Sub coming up here for Panorama. Alex Elliott's coming on. And Bradley Campbell's on as well. And the two players off are uh, so you made him run all the way across and then said no. Thomas Dale's off and Is that Hobby there? Is that Hobby? I think it might be Hobby. We can't see his number. I'm I'm almost certain that's Hobby. So I think it's Dale and Hobby off for Panorama and Elliot and 
Bradley Campbell. And Bradley Campbell. So this will be Bradley Campbell's first involvement and Alex Elliott's first involvement. Oh, the afternoon. Just stuck the foot out there and he's caught it. Carlos has made that. So Castrolon is obviously really keen to get some service. Yep. He's standing there with his arm in the air. He's ready. We'll see where Logan directs this. Well dealt with by Panorama there. Tens trying to make that break. Oh, he slipped it on to seven. He's put his foot down. Oh, golden chance to seal it, but he's missed it. Great goalkeeping. Put him under some pressure and he's pushed his shot wide. But Logan did well to, uh, to hold his shape and just not give himself up too quickly. Well, he was through on gold there. He won't be happy with that. He's back to the keeper. Oh, nearly cut it out. He just had a slightly heavy touch there, Davis, yep. didn't he? And he slipped as he kicked it. Mm. But they've dealt with the danger. Must have just nicked the attacker's foot. I've got to throw in for Panorama. So we've got McLean coming off here for Barnes and Worth with Michael Ayad coming on. Well, we thought the change was going to be made, but... He's not impressed with his wide undergum, and I think it's got to be red. Oh, that's a big tackle from the skipper. Smashing into McLean there, but that was a big tackle. Oh, 15, wasting a bit of time there, but knows what he's doing. This is what Barnes and Worth have really been wanting, though, for the for the last few minutes, which is an opportunity to bring their set piece game back into play. So we've got Ward and Kosh again up for this set piece. Carlos around the back. There it is. It's up nice and high. Castrolon's nice quick throw in and. Oh, Alex. So Tim Dowler Great there, I think, was, was hoping to try and maybe uh, somehow win. wasn't going to let that go for a corner, no matter yeah. what. <laughs> so I've got Dowler throwing feet. Bingham. He looks to lay off. Oh, he's chipped it across to the middle. Beautiful back to play. Oh, his first touch, and that's a little bit wide. <laughs> That's that's pretty good for a first touch. <laughs> he only had one thought on his mind, yeah. I had there. Yep. <laughs> to be fair, I think what Barnes and Worth are going to be looking to do over this course of this last six or seven minutes is just try and... Well, that's a great challenge and head of that. Get Castle on in Oh, he's play. got him behind Alex here. Oh, he cuts inside, has a shot. Oh, and across the face of the goal. That was so close. Oh, he knows it too. He knows it. That was a great ball in behind for Dowler there. A great opportunity. It's hard to see from our angle, but it yep. didn't look like it missed by much. Panorama are glad that went wide. Had the keeper beaten. That's oh, a great kick down the middle. Got all the ball, but a little bit close to his face. I'm actually, uh, I'm actually amazed that Castellon actually managed to get a foot to that. He sort of came from nowhere. We're going to play it short and quick. There we go. And Carlos, oh, big rumble. Fife pumped it out for safety. No! 
Great throw, but five clears it off easily. Mike, Mike! Apologies to our listeners. Sorry about that one. <laughs> That's a great long throw, but he hasn't found anyone. And Panorama deal with it comfortably. Oh, it's a good switch. Oh, fancy move, but it hasn't paid off. Oh, he's been dispossessed. They've got to be careful in the middle here. Oh, and that's a great tackle. That's a great tackle. Oh, Barney's going a bit long here. Two long ones in a row for no results. Bingham comes to put the skipper in a corner, but he unloads it pretty easy to 15. William Fitzpatrick there, the great pass, and oh, 10 knocks it on. Seven's looking for it, but that's great keeping. It's great, great keeping, keeping from Logan. He's out nice and early there. Nipped it in the bud. Oh, it's a nice tink in, but it's a little bit long and great defending there. But gosh, that was great. Kosh has done really well there to make sure that they can just turn around and play shielded, the goal yep, kick. Shielded it off quite easily. So we're into the last 30 seconds or so of regular time. We'll see if there's going to be any time added on in a moment. Oh, they've pumped it long direct. Oh, it's a great ball. Great header by Alex there. Oh, Panorama paid it out well. And he's offside. <laughs> Tell you what, Colbert's incredibly lucky not to have been put there. Yes. <laughs> he knew exactly what he was doing. But he's... So this may be uh, close to the last opportunity that Barnsonworth are going to have. Well, I got. In the process of trying to get the ball back to the um, penalty, he accidentally kicked it into the player's head, and he's just received the yellow, just re received the yellow card there. Very technical one for Charlie Ross there. At, at some Very point... Very incidentally. <laughs> so there's no hard feelings. It was just a mistake. At some point soon, I think a football game is going to recommence. <laughs> now we got Logan standing over. This has gone straight down the middle, as you would expect. Oh, well dealt with by Panorama. They're breaking out here. It's two on mark. Black shirts across the side. Keepers come off his line. And in it goes. That's it. And Barney's pushing up, trying to look for the equaliser. And left the back door open and Panorama's made them pay. Fair play to Panorama. They'd played yeah. that well. Got them on so the counter and everyone knows now that the Burmak Central West Premier League Grand Final will now be in Bathurst. Yep, that's looking like a certainty at this stage. So Panorama did exactly what you would expect them to do, yeah. which is knowing that Barnsonworth we'll had be thrown forward, all those players forward. Equaliser. They've gotten in behind and... Well finished. It was a great finish. Put it in there, put it in the mix. Well, great header. Back to the keeper and well claimed. And just for completeness for you, so the, the scorer of that goal was number 15 for Panorama, who is Dylan White. With a great finish. Good finish. Someone's got to come and receive it, but they didn't want it. 
Oh, great tackle. He's nicked it from him. Oh, he's got him behind. Here's his chance. Oh, he faked. Faked. Oh, and what a finish. What a finish there by Carlos. So, Australian, that is just a classic finish. Dinked, drew the full back in and just went around the other side and tapped it in. That is a finish and a half. So we're at 93 minutes. It will be fascinating to see how much more time the referee decides to play. Didn't put his... Great game here today at Jack Brabham. That was, that was a good end-end -end game. Panorama's run out, winners here. 4-3. Yep, so Panorama Football Club of Bathurst run out 4-3 winners in this Burmack Western Premier League final game here at Jack Brabham Park. Final score 4-3. We had a goal and the game on the line right up until the last few moments. And um, as you said earlier, Luke, that means that the uh, Western Premier League Grand Final goes to Bathurst. Um, but yeah, this is not the end for Barnes and no, Murphy United. No, that's what everyone's got to remember watching this game today. The loser knew they had a second chance. So Barnes will just go away and really sort of regroup, knowing that they've got to play Macquarie next week in a do or die affair, but that was that was a great game by Panorama. They just held their nerve and the chance they got, they just made them pay. They did indeed. Um, and to be to be fair to them, um, they did in many ways down the back end of that half after they went a goal up, um, keep fairly good control over the game from the point at which they went ahead. Yep. That breeze was a hard breeze, and to go in at 2-2 at half-time, you really probably wanted to be up by one with that breeze on your back. Like, it was a carbon copy. The team that had the breeze on their back had the majority of the play, and, yeah, Barney's were sort of camped down there having to deal with a lot of, lot of ball, a lot of long balls across, and it was a good game. It was an excellent game of finals football. We hope you enjoyed watching that game. We have been Live Sports Group. This is Dan Rumbold and Luke Bingham signing off from Jack Brabham Park. And just one more time, the result here today was Panorama FC 4, Barnstonworth United 3. The grand final for the Burmack Western Premier League goes to Bathurst. But Barnstonworth play Macquarie next weekend um, for the right game. to continue.